Hey great drummers, today we're having a look at East London. The East London Liquor Company Whiskey, their very, very first release. This is bottle 214 of 269 London Rye. Um, and it's been, it's triple cask, inaugural release, new French oak, ex-bourbon and a PX finish. Why not? And let me just show you the bottle there. Hopefully you can see the detail. See the upside down horse? Oh yeah. Um, good friend of mine, uh, Ivan Bell, uh, who's a fantastic man, um, and also, well, he's a lovely man, um, and also one of the, the foremost uh, designers of uh, spirits uh, packaging in the world, if not the leading one, um, who heads up the design agency Stranger and Stranger, came up with a brand, and the upside down horse was one of the concepts they came up with um, as an outlier it's like, let's freak the client out and see what happens. Um, because the uh, distillery is actually in an old glue factory. And uh, anyone who knows a little bit about glue will know that horses didn't do well when it came to glue. If you don't know, Google it. Um, so they put an upside down horse in there to signify a dead horse that goes into glue, etc. So they, uh, as a, almost a joke, and then the founder, Alex, absolutely loved it. And they went with it as the entire brand. And so it's pretty cool, right? Um, that's the kind of balls you need to stand out in spirits really nowadays. Um, so this is their inaugural release. It's a London rye, three casks as we talked about. Um, French oak, ex-bourbon, PX. I bloody love a PX. Uh, so I've not tried this yet. So let's have a go. Always pre-pour because you know what I'm like. I often miss the glass if I have to do it on cue. Wow, didn't expect that. So on the nose, I don't know if you've ever, this may be a little bit niche, if you've ever smelt a spent firework, you know those ones that you plug, uh, plug in, you, you kind of ram into your, your lawn or whatever, set light, and then when it's like, doof, 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 done its thing, the smell of the thing that is left there, that's what I'm getting right now. Wow. And I love it. Like I like the smell of matches when they've been when they've been extinguished and all of that kind of thing. It's something quite weird and interesting there. Maybe it's the PX and the rye just working in, in a weird, harmonious, I don't know, tandem of sorts. But I love it. And then you get a little bit a little bit deeper down and it's a bit, a bit more cherry notes, a bit more on the kind of oh, it's a blueberry, blackberry note as well. That's an amazing nose. Mm. Palette, so easy drinking. Wow. A lot of flavor to unpack, but that PX is definitely there. Yes, wow. Love a PX cast. Sweetness, the spice, the fruitiness, that warming kind of spice as well. But then you've got the underlying rye note that just sings through um, but it's like a sweet rye if that makes sense it's coated my tongue like the rye is wrapped around my tongue and all the other flavor profiles are dancing around it it's a very interesting interesting flavor profile mm. it's really cool nice tobacco notes coming through as well like, like leaf tobacco, like cigar tobacco. Fascinating. I think that's, I'm genuinely blown away. And I mean it, obviously, I, I know Ivan, who designed it very well, he's taught me through it over the last couple of years. I've done a talk at the distillery before. I've enjoyed my time at the distillery when we're allowed to. I know Alex, but I've never had the chance to try this before personally. And I'm impressed. And I wish I'd bought a second bottle. Damn, that was a missed opportunity. It's one of the most intriguing noses I've ever experienced in whiskey. Wow. Gorgeous. And cannot wait to see what happens next with these guys. Hopefully it's not too far from that, but the evolution of what they're doing, the really interesting ways in which they're engaging with people as well, maturing out their distillery in East London, 
which don't get me wrong is an absolute hole to get to it's not a hole but it's i'm trying not to swear um in terms of where it is it's in the back of beyond that's the term i'm looking for um but when you get there the bar it's amazing like gorgeous copper stills all backlit the bars in front of it you sit there have a few gnts a couple of whiskeys and you're just serenaded by this stunning backdrop um and then all the maturation happens around it and downstairs so cool anyway i wish the whole team at ewlc all the best and i cannot wait to try your next release cheers until next time <laughs>